Hello, welcome to English for Everyone. Today we're talking about romantic relationships and we're learning new expressions. First expression, have a crush on. When you like somebody, but they don't know. It can be somebody you know, like a classmate or a friend, or it can be an actor, somebody famous. She has a crush on him. She likes him, but he doesn't know. Let's practice. Does she have a crush on him? Yes, she has a crush on him. Does he know about it? No, he doesn't know about it. Does she have a crush on him? Does he know about it? Very good. Did you have a crush on your teacher in high school? No, I didn't have a crush on my teacher. Did you have a crush on your teacher in high school? Very good. Who did you have a crush on? I had a crush on Brad Pitt. Who did you have a crush on? Very good. Be a sucker for. Action B. He is. He is a sucker for her. He likes her and he will do anything for her. You can be a sucker for a person or you can be a sucker for a type of person. He is a sucker for a pretty girl. He is a sucker for a brunette. Is he a sucker for a pretty girl? Yes, he is a sucker for a pretty girl. Is he a sucker for a pretty girl? Very good. Is he a sucker for her? Yes, he is a sucker for her. Is he a sucker for her? Very good. Fall for. In present fall, in the past fell. So, if she likes him immediately, and she likes him a lot, she fell for him immediately. Did she like him from the start? Yes, she liked him from the start. Did she fall for him immediately? Yes, she fell for him immediately. Did she like him from the start? Did she fall for him immediately? Very good. Two expressions. Hit on somebody or come on to somebody is to express your romantic interest. And at work, you're not supposed to do that. So, he was fired for hitting on his co-workers. He was fired for coming on to his co-workers. Why was he fired? Because he was hitting on his co-workers. He was hitting on his co-workers. Why was he fired? Very good. Did he come on to his boss? Yes, he came on to his boss. Did he come on to his boss? Very good. Flirt with. You flirt with somebody. Flirt is an action. It means to use your body language and talk to attract somebody. She flirts with all the handsome guys. Does she flirt with all the handsome guys? Yes, she flirts with all the handsome guys. Does she flirt with all the handsome guys? Very good. Do you flirt with handsome guys? No, I don't flirt with handsome guys. Do you flirt with people? Very good. Ask somebody out. Ask out is a phrasal verb. You put the person in the middle. Ask her out. He likes her. He wants to take her to a restaurant to have dinner. He wants to ask her out. Does he like her? Yes, he likes her. Does he want to ask her out? Yes, he wants to ask her out. Does he like her? Does he want to ask her out? Very good. He asked her out. She said no. So she turned him down. Turn down. It's a phrasal verb. Separate. Turn him down or turn her down. She turned him down. She said no. Did he ask her out? Yes, he asked her out. Did she turn him down? Yes, she turned him down. Did he ask her out? Did she turn him down? Very good. Forward. Be forward. Your action be, I am forward, you are forward. She is forward because she asked him out. If you say things, what you think, and you're not scared, you say what you think, you are forward. 
So she is forward because she asked him out. Did she ask him out? Yes, she asked him out. Is she forward? Yes, she is forward. Did she ask him out? Is she forward? Very good. Expression, go on a date. You can say, they went on a date together. Or, person to person, she went on a date with him. So the action go, you change to pass, went. He went on a date with her. Always use connector with. Did he ask her out? Yes, he asked her out. Did she turn him down? No, she didn't turn him down. Did he ask her out? Did she turn him down? When did they go on a date? They went on a date yesterday. When did they go on a date? Very good. Expression, hit it off. Pronunciation. These T's are pronounced like D's because they're between vowels. Hid, hid it, hit it off. Hit it off. The same in present and past. They went on a date and they hit it off from the start. They liked each other. They laughed. They had fun. They enjoyed being together. They hit it off. Did he go on a date with her? Yes, he went on a date with her. Did he go on a date with her? How did it go? Did they hit it off? Yes, they hit it off immediately. How did it go? Did they hit it off? Very good. Expression, get stood up. Get in the present, got in the past. He got stood up. He asked her out. She said yes, but she didn't come. He waited and waited, but she never came. So he got stood up. Did he ask her out? Yes, he asked her out. What happened? She never came. Did he get stood up? Yes, he got stood up. Did he ask her out? What happened? Did he get stood up? Very good. They are boyfriend and girlfriend. They are dating. Date is the action. With date, there's no connector with. He is dating her. She is dating him. Is he dating anyone? Yes, he is dating her. How long have they been dating? They've been dating for a year. Is he dating anyone? How long have they been dating? Very good. Action date. He is dating her. The same, see. He is seeing her. He is seeing somebody. Same as boyfriend and girlfriend. So, they are boyfriend and girlfriend, and she is single. They are dating, and she is not seeing anyone. She is not dating anyone. Is she dating anyone? Yeah, she is dating him. So, how long have they been seeing each other? They've been seeing each other for a year. Is she dating anyone? How long have they been seeing each other? Very good. Is she dating anyone? No, she is not seeing anyone. Is she dating anyone? Very good. They are girlfriend and boyfriend. They are dating. They are in a relationship. The action be. They are. They are in a relationship. Or they are going out. Is he in a relationship? Yes, he is in a relationship. Who is he dating? He is dating her. How long have they been going out? They've been going out for six months. Is he in a relationship? Who is he dating? How long have they been going out? Very good. Description, together. They are together. They are in a relationship. They are boyfriend and girlfriend. 
They are together, and they have been together for one year. Are they together? Yeah, they are together. How long have they been together? They've been together for a year. Are they together? How long have they been together? Very good. Description taken. If he is in a relationship with her and somebody else is interested in him, you can say, sorry, he's taken. He's in a relationship. Is he single? No, he's not. He's taken. How long has he been seeing her? He's been seeing her for a month. Is he single? How long has he been seeing her? Very good. They are boyfriend and girlfriend, but she is with another man. So she is cheating on him. Or in the past, she cheated on him. Are they dating? Yes, they are dating. What happened? Why is he sad? He is sad because she is cheating on him. Are they dating? Why is he sad? What happened? Very good. She dumped him. They were together. She said no more relationship. So she dumped him. And now he is sad and she is happy. She dumped him. Pronunciation. The P is silent. Dumb. The sound T. For past, dumb t. Him, the H is silent. M, M. She dumb t. M. She dumped him. She dumped him. Are they still going out? No, they're not going out anymore. What happened? She dumped him. Oh. Are they still going out? What happened? Very good. They were boyfriend and girlfriend. No more relationship. They split up. Split in the present. Split in the past. They split up. Break up. The same. Present break. In the past. Broke. They broke up. Are they still dating? No, they're not dating anymore. What happened? Did they split up? Yes, they split up. When did they break up? They broke up last week. Are they still dating? Did they split up? When did they break up? Very good. They made up. In present, make up. In past, made up. They are boyfriend and girlfriend. They were fighting before. But now they're not fighting anymore because they made up. Were they fighting? Yes, they were fighting. Are they still dating now? Yes, they're still dating. They made up. Were they fighting? Are they still dating? Very good. Today we're learning vocabulary and expressions about love and getting married. Expression, love at first sight. When you love someone the first time you see them. Love is a noun here. It's not a verb. The verb is was. It was love at first sight. Let's practice. Have they always loved each other? Yes, they've always loved each other. Was it love at first sight? Yes, it was love at first sight. Have they always loved each other? Was it love at first sight? Very good. The expression in love. When you use the expression in love, remember your verb is. I am in love, you are in love, and she is in love. Remember your prepositions. In love with. Two prepositions. She is in love with him. She loves him very much. Action. Fall. Fall in love is the process. The action fall. In the past, fell. She fell in love with him. Is she in love with him? Yes, she's in love with him. 
Did she fall in love with him on the first date? Yes, she fell in love with him on the first date. Is she in love with him? Did she fall in love with him on the first date? Very good. Expression, get to know somebody. Get to know is the process where you meet, you share information, you learn about the other person, talking and talking. They are getting to know each other. Was it love at first sight? No, it wasn't love at first sight. Did she have to get to know him first? Yes, she had to get to know him first. And then did they fall in love? Yes, and then they fell in love. Was it love at first sight? Did she have to get to know him first? And then did they fall in love? Very good. Expression. Have a lot in common. They have a lot in common because they like the same things. They're interested in the same things. They have a lot in common. Do they enjoy spending time together? Yes, they enjoy spending time together. Do they have the same hobbies? Yes, they have the same hobbies. Do they have a lot in common? Yes, they have a lot in common. Do they enjoy spending time together? Do they have the same hobbies? Do they have a lot in common? Very good. Expression. Pop the question. When he asks her to marry him. He popped the question in the past. Popped. He popped the question. Did he finally pop the question? Yes, he finally popped the question. Did she say yes? Yes, she said yes. Did he finally pop the question? What did she say? Very good. The verb is propose. When he asked her to marry him, he proposed to her. Remember, use your preposition to. Propose in the past, proposed. When you say it together, you don't hear the past. He proposed, he proposed to her. He proposed to her yesterday. Was she surprised when he proposed to her? Yes, she was very surprised when he proposed to her. Was she surprised when he proposed to her? Very good. Expression. Get on one knee. You can say he got on his knee, but we don't say that. It's an expression. He got on one knee. He got on one knee when he proposed to her. So remember, get on, pronunciation, get on with a D. Get on. In the past, got on. He got on one knee. Let's practice. Did he get on one knee when he proposed to her? Yes, he got on one knee when he proposed to her. Did he get on one knee when he proposed to her? Very good. Propose is the verb, and proposal is the noun. So, it was a romantic proposal. Where did he propose to her? He proposed to her at the restaurant. Was it a romantic proposal? Yes, it was a romantic proposal. Where did he propose to her? Was it a romantic proposal? Very good. When he proposed to her, he gave her a ring. Now they are engaged. So the action, they are engaged, I am engaged, he is engaged. The process, get engaged. So that moment, process, they got engaged. When did they get engaged? They got engaged last weekend. When did they get engaged? Engagement ring. The ring he gave her when he proposed to her is an engagement ring. Did he buy her an expensive engagement ring? Yes, he bought her an expensive engagement ring. Did he buy her an expensive engagement ring? Very good. Married is a description. An adjective. I am married. They are married now. In the process, in the church, get married. In the past, they got married. They got married last week. When did they get married? They got married last weekend. Did they get married in a church? Yes, they got married in a church. When did they get married? Did they get married in a church? 
Very good. Wedding. A wedding is the ceremony when they get married. I had a small wedding. They had a small wedding too. Did they have a small wedding? Yes, they had a small wedding. What about you? Did you have a small wedding too? Yes, I had a small wedding too. Did they have a small wedding? What about her? Did she have a small wedding? And what about you? Did you have a big wedding or a small wedding? Very good. Before the man gets married, he has a party. The party is called a bachelor party. He has a bachelor party with all his friends before the wedding. And bachelor comes from a man who is not married. Any man who is not married is a bachelor. And the girls have a party too sometimes, and it's called a bachelorette party. The girl who is getting married has a party with all her friends before the wedding. It's called a bachelorette party. At the wedding, the man is the groom, and the woman is the bride. In the wedding, you have the bride and the groom. The bride's friends are the bridesmaids. There are two bridesmaids in the wedding. And the groom's friends are the groomsmen. There are two groomsmen in the wedding. How many bridesmaids are in the wedding? There are two bridesmaids in the wedding. How many groomsmen are in the wedding? There are two groomsmen in the wedding. How many bridesmaids are in the wedding? How many groomsmen are in the wedding? Very good. In the wedding, there is a bride and a groom. The groom's best friend is the best man. And the bride's best friend is the maid of honor. There is only one maid of honor and only one best man. We also have children in the wedding. A little girl is a flower girl. She throws flowers on the ground. And a boy is a ring bearer. He brings the ring to the altar. Sometimes, before people get married, they get cold feet. They think, maybe not. I don't want to get married. They change their mind. When they get scared before the wedding, they get cold feet. Why is she crying? She's crying because she got cold feet. Did she cancel the wedding? Yes,、yeah, she canceled the wedding. Why is she crying? Did she cancel the wedding? Very good. The bride got cold feet and canceled the wedding. She left. In present leave, in the past left. She left him at the altar. This is the altar. She left him at the altar. Where's the bride? She got cold feet. Did she leave him at the altar? Yes, she left him at the altar. Where's the bride? Did she leave him at the altar? Very good. If nobody gets cold feet and they get married, after the wedding, they are newlyweds. They're newlyweds for about the first year. They are the happy newlyweds. After the wedding, the husband and wife go on vacation. The vacation is a honeymoon. They go on their honeymoon. In the past, they went on their honeymoon. Are they going on their honeymoon? Yes, they are going on their honeymoon. Where are they going on their honeymoon? They are going to Hawaii on their honeymoon. Are they going on their honeymoon? Where are they going on their honeymoon? Very good. Spouse. Pronunciation. This S is pronounced like an S. S, not a zebra, not Z. It's S. S. Spouse. So, spouse. A husband is a spouse. A wife is a spouse. My wife is my spouse. Other words for your spouse, your husband, or your wife: your soulmate. She's my soulmate. He's my soulmate, or they are soulmates. Other words you can use to talk about your husband or your wife: she's my better half, or my other half. So, if you're in any long-term relationship with someone, they are your partner. She is my partner, or he is my partner. Marriage. Marriage is the noun. It's the name of the thing. 
They have a marriage. They have a good marriage. Or they have a bad marriage. They have a wonderful marriage. It's a noun. Marry is the action. We use the action marry for person to person. Will you marry me? I want to marry you. I want to marry a millionaire. We cannot say, I want to get married to a millionaire. Don't use get married. Use the action marry. And there's no with. We do not use the preposition with in any case with marry. Get married is used for the process. It happens in the church. So you use the process to say, I don't want to get married. He will never get married. You're not talking about the other person. Just he will never get married. I got married in a church. To be married, married is a description. I am married right now. You are married. She is married. And with that structure, you can put the other person. It's possible. He is married to Jill. He is married to a nice woman. Today, we're going to learn words about divorce and getting a divorce. When the relationship is not going well, there are problems. We can use the description rocky. They had a rocky relationship. Let's practice. How long have they been married? They've been married for 10 years. How's it going? It's a rocky relationship. How long have they been married? How's it going? Very good. When the relationship is good sometimes and bad sometimes, we say ups and downs. They have their ups and downs. How long have they been married? They've been married for 10 years. How's it going? They have their ups and downs. How long have they been married? How's it going? Very good. If they are fighting all the time about things that are not really important, we say bickering. They're constantly bickering. How long have they been married? They've been married for a while. How's it going? They're constantly bickering. Oh. How long have they been married? How's it going? Very good. Sometimes in a relationship, you have money problems. We say they fight over money using the preposition over. They're fighting over money. How long have they been married? They've been married for a while. How's it going? Not very good. They're constantly fighting over money. Oh. How long have they been married? How's it going? Very good. They are married. But she is with another man. So she is cheating on him. Enter on. She is cheating on him. Or if I talk about the other man, she is having an affair with him. She's having an affair with him means she's cheating. Why is he upset? His wife is cheating on him. Oh no. Who is she having an affair with? She's having an affair with her boss. Why is he upset? Who is she having an affair with? Very good. Another way we can explain when she is cheating on him. In this situation, he is not cheating. So he is faithful. If you're not cheating, you are faithful connector to to your husband or to your wife. So he is faithful to his wife, but she is not. She is not faithful to him or to her husband. She is not faithful or she is unfaithful. Is she unfaithful to her husband? Yes, she's unfaithful to her husband. What about him? Is he faithful? Yes, he's faithful to her. Is she unfaithful to her husband? Very good. What about him? Is he faithful? Sometimes it's a surprise when a couple is separated. So we say no one saw it coming because everyone was surprised. They were happy for a long time. No one saw it coming. Are they still married? Yes, but they're separated. Wow, what a surprise. Yeah, no one saw it coming. Are they still married? Wow, what a surprise. 
Very good. So they separated for a few months and then they got back together. So the action get in the past, got. They got back together. Or you can use the expression patch things up. In this case, patch is a verb. So they patch in the past, they patched. They patched things up. Are they still separated? No, they patched things up. Oh, that's great. When did they get back together? They got back together last week. Are they still separated? Great. When did they get back together? Very good. Sometimes when people are separated, they're not able to patch things up. So they get divorced. Get divorced is the process in general. They got divorced. Divorce is the action person to person. He divorced her. He divorced her because she was unfaithful. Did they patch things up? No, unfortunately not. They got divorced. Why? He divorced her because she was unfaithful. Did they patch things up? They got divorced. Why did they get divorced? Very good. Other ways to explain divorce. You can talk about the legal document is a divorce. Using a divorce, use the action get. Get a divorce. This is a noun. They got a divorce. Sometimes when people get divorced, they fight. They fight over money. They fight over many things. They fight over the kids. So they have to go to court. Remember, go to court, no, to the court. And pronunciation, go to, go to court. In the past, they went to court. Did they get a divorce? Yes, they got a divorce. Was it a rough divorce? Yes, it was a rough divorce. Did they have to go to court? Yes, they had to go to court. Did they get a divorce? Was it a rough divorce? Did they have to go to court? Very good. When two people get divorced, one person has possession of the children. The children live in their house. That is custody. So who has custody or who got custody? In this case, the mother got full custody of the children. Did they get divorced? Yes, they got divorced. Oh, who got custody of the kids? The mother got full custody of the kids. Did they get divorced? Who got custody of the kids? Very good. Sometimes when a couple gets divorced, they share the possession. They share the custody of the children. Sometimes the kids are with the father. Sometimes the kids are with the mother. That is joint custody. So she got joint custody and he got joint custody. They both got joint custody. Did they get divorced? Yes, they got divorced. Who got custody of the kids? They got joint custody. Did they get divorced? Who got custody of the kids? Very good. Sometimes they don't have a fight in court for the divorce. There's no argument because they have a prenuptial agreement. They sign the contract before the wedding, before they get married. They sign a prenuptial agreement, or for short, a prenup. They signed a prenup. So when they get divorced, everything is clear and smooth. Did they sign a prenup? No, they didn't sign a prenup. Did they have to go to court? Yeah, they had to go to court. Did they sign a prenup? Did they have to go to court? Very good. Now they are divorced. So... She is his ex-wife, and he is her ex-husband. So right now, they are not happy. They're very upset. They got divorced. But with time, they will get over. Get over it. Get over the bad situation. And they will be happy again. They will get over it. And when they're over it, be over they are over it. He is over it. So after the divorce, 
she has a new boyfriend. She got over it, and now she moved on. So move in the past, moved, she moved on. She moved on with her life. When did she get divorced? She got divorced last year. Is she still upset? No, not anymore. She got over it and moved on. Is she seeing anyone? Yeah, she's seen a new boyfriend. Oh, great. When did she get divorced? Is she still upset? Did she move on? Is she seeing anyone? Very good. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, click like. And if you have any question about anything you heard, leave a comment and we'll get back to you.